if reincarnation was real, what would you want to come back as? Hang on and I'll tell you my answer. This episode is part of my life series. The series basically looks at different aspects of the vineyard, winery, and wine in general, and parallels it with our lives. Today we're going to look at bud break. There are rhythms and seasons in the vineyard and with vines. Within the annual life cycle of vines, you have different stages. Dormancy, bud break, growth, uh, some call this cluster initiation flowering, fruit set, verasion, uh, which is uh, when the grapes grow larger and they begin to turn colors. Some call this berry development and harvest. Then you go back to dormancy. In another episode, we've already talked about dormancy. The winter months are an important part of the vine and the grapes growing cycle. Visible growth stops temporarily as the vines rest and prepare for the coming season, that coming season of life. To learn more about this important stage of rest and hear a powerful life parallel, be sure to check out my video on dormancy. Okay, are you ready for stage number two, bud break? Real quick, as we're walking through this, if you like what you hear, click like, subscribe, and hit the little bell so you'll be notified when there are new posts. The subscription is free. Also, if this somehow resonates with you, make sure you share this with a friend. I'm sure they would appreciate it. Do you know that as we come through winter seasons in our personal lives, we begin to turn the corner as things start to fall back into place. Uh, we even get a, a sense of cautious optimism as we recognize that we can see a light at the end of the tunnel. As the winter gets further away, we find ourselves with a positive outlook on life or at least a more positive outlook on life. As in the vineyard with bud break, we have a glimmer of hope that life will return to some semblance of normalcy. One of the most important things to, to remember is that we need to take things one stage or one step at a time. <laughs> so go, going back to my earlier question, if reincarnation was real, I think I'd like to come back as a grapevine. You know, once you learn about bud break, maybe they'll agree. So, after the vine has been dormant for a winter season in life, when the time is right, the first tender buds and green leaves of the growth, growing season emerge from the dormant vine. Have you ever been through a dormant season in life? I have. It's, it's not fun. We will all go through times like that, won't we? Sometimes they're due to physical illness or injuries. Sometimes they're emotional or even spiritual. We've all been there and in all likelihood will be there again. But as you come through it, when the time is right, you and me, like the vines, will draw on the energy we've stored up in the winter and see the first signs of new growth. The first buds on the vines, these tiny sparse leaves have only one goal, to grow. The energy to grow comes through the photosynthetic process, the sun, and also the rain. We all get energy from some source. Those of us who are faith-based typically will get energy from God's Son and other believers, plus the Spirit. <laughs> Do you wake up in the morning in your morning funk, groggy, not wanting to talk to anyone and are already, really, already late for work, wishing you didn't have to go to work or work remotely. The vines and buds are ready to burst forth and absorb the fresh air and sunshine. It's a new and glorious day. Despite being totally packed away for the winter season, magically each vine and the entire vineyard goes from sort of a, what appears to be a brown drab death in dormancy to a, an array of green life without realizing the entire vineyard is in that stage of 
getting set for another productive season. You know, every varietal goes into and out of dormancy at its own pace. I'm going to, to get a little technical on you for just about two seconds. Budbreak is one of the, the grapevine's key growth or phenologic stages. Now, phenology is defined as the study of the timing of natural phenomena that takes place periodically in plants and animals. Regardless of the condition, the natural order of bud break across different plants species tends to be consistent. Now what all that means for us is that Chardonnay breaks sooner than Pinot Grigio. Cabs break sooner than Merlots or Syrahs. A lot of us try to speed up the natural process in our own personal lives. Now it's okay that we each come out of our dormant periods at a different pace. You know, we're all different. For me, I like to wake up to a, the smell of coffee and sizzling bacon and pecan rolls in the oven. Rainwater and, and warmth of the sun gently wakes up the old vines. I like to wake up slow and easy like vines wake up to the, the gradual increased temperature of the sun. <laughs> you know, you may hit butt break with a 30 minute cardio routine and a protein shake or maybe even some, some uplifting music and a, a bowl of cereal and a big old glass of OJ. For an actual grapevine, the, the water and stored nutrients begin flowing from the trunk through the cordons or the limbs as it, as it gets closer and closer to the, to the dormant buds. The fluid and nutrients swell the dormant buds, turning them from hard, small bumps on a twig-like branch to a soft pussy willow sort of looking bud. Finally, the caffeine kicks in and the tiny bud explodes to reveal beautiful leaves and shoots. Next thing you know, there's rapid growth. These shoots can grow as fast as one inch or more per day. With the long grueling dormancy behind them, the tender leaves simply look up and absorb the, the sunshine worry-free. That's just like us after we've enjoyed our favorite breakfast. Well, in theory, right? <laughs> you know, in all seriousness, we can know with certainty that there is light at the end of the tunnel. Actually, not just light, but new life. You know, nature is pretty incredible. With perfect timing, the vines transform from what appears to be a, a drab death to a new life. In the good book, it says it this way, but God is so rich in mercy and he loves us so much that even though we were dead, he gives us new life. That's strong. Now let's wrap this up with some final observations about bud break. Now the timing on bud break varies based on the age of the vine. Young vines that are not in full production are slower to break than mature vines. Another way of saying this is frequently age or maturity has a bearing on us coming out of dormancy. Another observation is in the spring when we're still establishing our foundation, our new delicate buds can be stunted or even destroyed by one happening, one night of frost. To protect the young buds, many vineyards install large machines, gigantic fans to stir up the air. The idea is to, to circulate the warmer air so that the, the chill of the night won't have an impact on the, the young buds. <laughs> you know, every bud needs a big fan alongside them, right? Many vineyards also install sprinkler systems to help protect the buds. Now, as strange as this sounds, to protect the buds from the freezing weather, the water from the, the sprinklers freezes around the buds, creating a protective layer around them. Frozen water helps the buds keep from freezing. <laughs> now go figure that one out, but it works. The moral, young buds not only need gigantic fans by their sides, but also deliberate protection. Well, folks, that's all for bud break. The next stage is shoot growth. We'll take a look at that in the next installment of our life series. If you've enjoyed this episode, let me know, or just write thanks in the comments below. If you know somebody that needs the encouragement, share this with them. I'm sure they would appreciate it. 
Also, remember to hit like and subscribe if you got something out of this video. Until next time, cheers.